after that feeling out matchup in game number one. The intensity should ramp up here in game number two. Welcome back to EA Sports, everybody. I'm James Sabalski. It's all been building the anticipation leading to this moment, and we're about to get the opening face-off. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. The Blue Jackets move it in. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. And he hangs on to the puck. Puck dumped in. Severson's taking it from his own end. Quick feed to Wierenski. Montreal's got control of it now from their own end. Quick pass over to Suzuki. Montreal's got a hold of the puck now. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Can't keep a hold of it. Swift the pass in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Columbus has won the faceoff here in their own end. Here's a chance. Sends it in front. Misses. Here's a short pass to Yurichek. Oh, and a great heads up play to force the turnover by Doc. Moves it quickly over to Fentilli. There's a shot. Oh, and he pokes it away. A risky play, but it pays off. They've got numbers here. Oh, look at the pass. Well, no smelling salts needed here. He's shaking it off as he takes from him the gauge. He made the save, so that's going to make him pretty happy. Through center along the wing. Right side sent up ahead into the middle of the ice. That's blocked. Quick pass to Doc. Nice zone entry on the left side. Puts it on net. Merce Lickens makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Still lots of time left in the period. Still looking for our first goal. The Blue Jackets take possession off the faceoff. The Canadians gain possession. The certainly caught the goaltender off guard, James, and he was unable to get set to position. And when this happens, often one area of the net is exposed. This time it's down low, and a goal ensues. The Canadians land the game's first goal here in the first half of the opening frame. Well, yeah, I really like their game, James. It's not just about getting on the board first, but I like the way they've established a forecheck and they've held possession. I think they've done a real good job. They've had a consistent effort. Now they've got to find a way to finish the back half of this period the same way. And he slides it quickly to Evans. Made the stop on the play. Montreal's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. Columbus takes possession off the draw. Moves it to Jenner. Fires it! That's glove by Montembeau. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Evans is having a lot of fun out there. Why wouldn't he be, James? I mean, he's putting up numbers left, right, and center on this point streak. And you know who's also having a lot of fun? His team, they're rallying around him, looking forward to another one. The Blue Jackets take possession off the faceoff. Anderson swooping in on the attack. And that's blocked. The Blue Jackets have it now. Quick feed to Jenner. Poked away in the offensive end. The Blue Jackets played along the boards. And the puck banks off the glove. Montembeau's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. More than half the period left to play. Montreal's ahead, 1-0. Puck picked up by Good Branson. Denies him on the stopper. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. On the backhand. Oh, and a save as he denies him again. And the sequence of saves, I love how he's strong he is in his set position here, James. You can see that he gets square to the shooter, and that makes the second save easier. 
Faceoff coming up here in the offensive zone. Well, they'll want to continue with the sustained pressure because the goaltender, he is fatigued. The Canadians start with the puck in their own end. Slides it to Caulfield. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Scooped up along the wall by Caulfield. Wrist shot from the slot. Fantastic save! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. More than half the period has expired. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. Ducks won a big draw on their own end. Feeds it over. Slides it across. Oh, my goodness, it stayed out. What a save. It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck, that was on display. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Shep. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Columbus holds the shot advantage here in the first period, yet they still trail in this game. Corrales won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. And he loses control of the puck. Montembeau is a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. The Habs get a hold of the puck off the draw. Line A's got it across the line. Feeds it over to Barron. The Blue Jackets gain control of it. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Taken by Monaghan. Montreal's gonna play the puck from behind the cage. Feeds it on over to Dvorak. Blocked in front. Up along the wing. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck against the wall. Lays the body. The Blue Jackets take it along the wall. Slides the puck over. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Montembeau. <laughs> Past the midway mark of the frame. Montreal's up one zip. The Habs win the draw. Feeds the puck across to Harvey Pinard. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. One time shot, and that goes off a body. Puck scooped up by Yurichek. Harvey Bernard's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Here's a short pass to Evans. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Columbus with possession in their own zone. Knocked away by Harvey Pinard. Passes over to Juracek. He carries the puck up along the wing. And he can't hang on after that hit. Montreal's in on the offensive attack now. Picked up along the wall by Jenner. Sent into the offensive zone. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Receives the pass. Columbus has it near the wall. The Blue Jackets take possession in the defensive end. Moves the puck. Shot. That goes wide. Big play inside the defensive zone. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Blue Jackets will take it behind the net. Hammers the shot. Oh, you might call that friendly fire as it goes off one of his teammates. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. All right, time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one too.
Just moments away from puck drop for second period action. And we are underway with period number two. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Montembeau's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Moves it quickly over to Matheson. Not trying to take your job, James, but I had to mention that big hit. Wow, that was a ringer. The Blue Jackets looking against the half wall. He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Man, he just exudes confidence on this shot. It's like he knows it's going to make its way through the net with all that traffic in front. But it's all about opening up your own lane and then waiting for that screen to take away the eyes of the goaltender. Columbus has even things up, and I'll tell you what, this game has been back and forth tonight. That's great timing at the onset of the second period to get the equalizer. That's a great counter punch to send a direct message to your opponent. You mean business, and this is an entertaining game. Gaudreau's got it in the offensive zone. Handles the puck at the point. Cutting to the slot. That goes up the inside of the iron, and we play on. The Blue Jackets are still at even here. They had an opportunity to go up by one, but unfortunately, they hit the pipe again. Oh, there's a great stop by Montembeau. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Matheson's last play was a tough one, James. He loses his balance, which makes it difficult for him to corral the puck and get it off with precision, but he makes the play. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. The Canadians gain possession along the wall. Quick pass to Doc. Sends a pass over. Takes the feet at the back end. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Moves it to Doc. And he had an answer with that save. And a little physicality ends that threat. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. The Blue Jackets win the draw here in their own end. You hate it when you ice the puck and it comes 200 feet back to your zone. You gotta give your center a tap on the pads after you win that one and get out. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. With possession along the wall. And that's off a stick. Great stop by Bruce Leakins. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Both centers ready to take the draw here, coming up. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Puck sent across the blue line. And he makes the save. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no fear there. No, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Columbus wins the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Big time stop there. Now a quick pass to Corrali. Let's it go. Big score. A clutch call gives them the lead. Well, it's very timely, isn't it, James? To give them the lead and also the confidence that they've shown these past few shifts led to that opportunity. Great patience by the shooter as the goaltender drops into the butterfly, but doesn't go glove hand, instead goes blocker side, stick side high. What a finish. Columbus 
leads by one here in period number two, and they're starting to assert themselves here, Cheryl. They're starting to take over. Yeah, they're starting to take over, and you'd expect that that will only increase now because the deadlock has been broken, and they're playing with the lead. And he's knocked off the puck there. Columbus plays it along the wing, and somehow he hangs on. Shuts him down. Slides it up to Line. Columbus takes possession at center. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the officials say. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer, and now they find themselves shorthanded. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. They move the puck out of harm's way. Quick feed to Johnson. Here's a shot. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And they get it out. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. And now he moves it quickly to Marchenko. Jabs the puck away. Oh, he gets a blocker on him. What a stop by Montembeau. And they clear that puck. Grabbed along the board by Wierenski. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Takes a shot. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. The Blue Jackets will start off on the attack after winning the draw. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. The Blue Jackets get a hold of the puck along the boards. And he takes the dish. And that pass is redirected. New hook, almost out of the box. The Blue Jackets' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Well, when you get the nod to hit, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time, and all these players are heading back to the bench, and they're deflated. Pinned up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Provorov. He scores! And there's the hat trick three as the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything can to take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team, but he's been dominated, playing really confident all night long. You can certainly tell that the coach is not happy behind the bench after that last goal. He'll be preaching good habits and details. He doesn't like it right now. Columbus has gone up by two in the second, and at the rate they're going, I think they're due for more, Cheryl. Yeah, the analytics would say with the possession time that they've had that they would continue to get more and execute. They've just been all over the ice. They've been first to the puck, and they've managed it so well. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Montreal's got it in the offensive zone. Columbus tries to break out from their own end. Mazikins has looked really comfortable and dialed in in the crease tonight, James. He's calm, he's composed, he's made the saves he's needed to, but his team has played excellent. Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. Looks like a completely different team tonight, the way they've played offensively. Well, they've had the puck the majority of the game, and when they have it, they've got quick, close support, so someone to move it to right away, and that's what's opening up lanes and giving them an opportunity to attack. And now it's grabbed by Harris, and that's deflected. Montreal's got him along the wall. Shot! Come on! By Merzlikens! Columbus has it in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Sillinger. 
Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Oh, what a pass! Saved by Montembeau. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face-off. The Blue Jackets have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the slam and tied him up. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face-off looming. Columbus came to play tonight. Look at the scoreboard here as they have been one busy team offensively. Montreal's won the draw. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. That's blocked. The Blue Jackets gain control of the puck. Feeds it to Goudreau. Quick pass to Johnson. As it goes off a stick. Takes the feed from his own end. Good solid check, and he loses control of it. They've got some momentum here. Big he scores! Oh, wow, what a finish! Well, I love that he used his speed and didn't slow down, James. And it's all about patience and composure, outleading the goaltender, finding the room and burying it. I love his awareness on this breakaway. His head is up the entire way, and he's really Exactly what the goaltender is giving him. He sees some daylight, quick release shot, and he buries it. Well, the game has simply gotten worse, and after that last goal, the coach's reaction says it all. He is not impressed with this team. Just look at him going up and down the bench, just riding players out right now for their lack of effort. The Blue Jackets are showing no signs of slowing down, and here we are in the late stages of period number two. They continue to hit down the accelerator. Yeah, and the coach must be loving this. I mean, sometimes you can't put your finger on exactly why it's working the way it is, but the chemistry is off the charts here, and they've got a comfortable lead. The Canadians get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Columbus plays it up ahead. And he keeps possession. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Takes the feed. The Blue Jackets get a hold of it. Picked up along the boards by Doc. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Here they come on the attack. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Scrum along the boards, they battle for the puck. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Harvey Pinard's got it along the boards. Here's a shot. Denies him in close. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real big stop just as time expires in the period. And that brings the period to an end. All right, third period just around the corner. We'll get a clean sheet of ice. I'm going to get more popcorn, and we're coming back with much more next. Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. 20 minutes to go here at regulation what has been a very one-sided affair. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Montreal has got to stop giving the puck away, James. I mean, when it's on their stick, it's like a hot potato, and they're throwing it away. And I'm telling you, their opponent is really dominating possession because of it. They've been chasing the game. They've got to do something when they get the puck. They score! Heat level 
to make that one. The Beacons negates the scoring opportunity. James really quick to set the position and face the shooter dead on. Matheson's got control of it now behind the cage. Puck grabbed by Savard. Loses the coverage there. Caulfield's got the puck. Denies him! Columbus takes possession along the wall. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Let's go to the middle! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there! Columbus has put a lot of pucks on net, and they've been rewarded for it, leading big time in the third. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. Let's get the call here. Frustrated, and it will mount if this continues to happen. So wants to have a conversation with the official to get an explanation as to why his team is getting more calls. Jackets once again send out their power play unit. When the power play isn't working, James, you have to find a way to read the ice, go low to high, have the quarterback read it, and drive the puck towards the net. Tosses it on to Anderson. The Canadians carry it along the wall. Provorov's looking to break out from behind his own net. Gets it over to Goudreau. Works it across to Provorov. Put the hard hat on here. What a hit. Montreal's got it in their own zone. And here's a pass to Anderson. And he tossed it up with the pass. Wrist shot from the slot. And a great save. Dishes it off. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Another face-off looming here on this power play. The Canadians win the draw on their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Cuts inside. Columbus has it in their own zone. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Columbus looks to attack. Montreal's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Wax it into the offensive zone. Tries to get the puck to Goudreau. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Dish on over to top. To the ball stop, and it rings the post. Montreal's working hard, but nothing's been going right for them in this game. Another chance off the post, and this is deflating for an entire bench. He needs something to get them going. Columbus has the puck. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Moves it to the middle. And got stopped. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Well, a great A scoring chance taken away from the inner slot because he's so aggressive and gets to the top of his crease. The Blue Jackets have looked sharp tonight. Lots of pucks on net and a lot of goals as a result. <laughs> Montreal's got possession of the puck. Line A's got it against the boards. Oh, and a save with the ball. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Columbus coaches insisted lots of shots on net going into this one, and they have done that and continue to lead in the third. Suzuki's won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Columbus wins the draw. Yerichek stick handling in his own zone. The Blue Jackets play it along the wing. Moves it to Ben Tilly. The Canadians have it now. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Feeds it over. And he strikes that one with the glove. 
Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Columbus has it in their own end. Fantelli's gaining momentum. Into the corner of the attack area. Too much congestion blocks the shot. The Habs take it along the wall. Dropped him in the open ice. Off a stick and they can't connect. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. Right up the gut into the offensive end. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. To his teammate! Denied by the goaltender. Goaltender covers it up. You get a whistle to slow things down. Columbus has been firing on all cylinders tonight, and they are in the home stretch of this one in period number three. And he takes a shot! Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Handles the pass. And he easily stops that one. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The Blue Jackets continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Columbus takes possession off the faceoff. Takes the feed at the point. And it's a quick pass to Olivier. With the puck inside the defensive zone. And it's tipped away. And he slides it quickly to Anderson. And he connects with the long bomb. The Blue Jackets scoop it up along the boards. With some open space at center. The Canadians take possession here in the open ice. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Wierenski. And he takes the pass. Glove save on the play! Teams are ready to go, and we're about moments away from puck drop. Johnson's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Denies it in front! I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. The Blue Jackets are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Columbus takes possession after that offensive zone faceoff. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. The Blue Jackets are looking to close things out. They have been dominant all night long, and they continue to lead late in the third. They win the draw and go on the attack. Montreal's got the puck. The Canadians will play for the defensive zone. Written off the puck. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Puts it in deep. The Habs gain possession. And a heads up kick pass over to his teammate. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Montreal's got it behind the net. Sends the pass over. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Here's a chance! Big time stop there! Slapkowski's got it in the defensive end. Quick shot! And that carries off a body in traffic. Take it along the wall by Ben Branson. On the right side and up the middle. Puck picked up by Johnson. Final minute of regulation here, and it should be it. Montreal's got it across the line. Denied by the goaltender. Goaltender covers up. We're going to stop the play. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. The Warriors won the face off here in the offensive zone. Oh, what a heads up play to poke it away. Takes the feed. Fires it on net. Makes the save with the glove! In front, and a stoppage on the play as the 
goaltender covers things up. The Blue Jackets wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. Monaghan's won the draw and they're on the attack. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Dvorak's got it into offensive territory. Quick feed to Provorov. And he maintains possession of the puck here. The Hags get a hold of the puck along the boards. And talk about a hostile environment as the final seconds tick away and these fans are not pleased with what they've seen tonight. And it is all over with this one. I don't think you can chalk up complacency at the other end of the ice. Cheryl, this was the response that everybody expected and anticipated. I mean, it's the playoffs, James. I mean, you got the best teams in the playoffs, and they want it. They're urgent. They knew they couldn't drop another game. So this was all about a timely response, and they answered the call. Well, hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Cebulski. Good night.